Kurt Benick with ForeConstructionPros.com. We're here with Phil Besson. Yes. With Case Corporation. He's going to tell us a little bit about the new D-Series that was just introduced. I understand this excavator is both faster and more fuel efficient than the predecessor it replaces. Yes. Uh, from the different tests we were able to do in the field, uh, we, were, we, sh we saw actually a, a cycle time improvement of up to 12% depending on a different model we tried and a fuel efficiency of up to 14% also depending on the model and the type of mode you were operating in. We've done a lot of improvements in, in regarding the hydraulics. Okay. So you have a, um, a new electronically controlled pump, okay. you have larger uh, control valves, mm -hmm. And you have uh, all the solenoids within the machine and the sensors make it that we, um, we try to route the oil in a lot more strategic way where it's needed. Okay. And the fact that you have larger valves allows you to have a lot more flow in the machine. So one, you don't overheat. So okay. you have a much uh, better use of the oil at that point. And also we are reusing the oil as much as we can before it goes to the tank to the function. So that if you're going, for example, on a, a boom down function and dig, um, the oil doesn't go back and goes to the, uh, the, the bucket. It goes straight from the boom down to the bucket. So you have a much quicker response when you do that. We're also seeing the same type of application if we're doing a dig and then load. So that swing, uh, the oil is actually going right to the swing at that same time. So you're going to have a much faster cycle time. Well, I understand this is tier four compliant too. You have an SCR solution? Yes, so in this engine, uh, we have a CEGR solution integrated with the SCR and the DOC as well okay. to all meet the tier 4 final uh, emissions requirements. No diesel particulate filter? No diesel particulate filter. So the nice thing with that is you don't have that filter to replace which is quite expensive. You don't have regenerations related to that and therefore no downtime. And what we've seen is up to 9,500 more truckloads a day if you're operating for example 10 hours a day, 6 days a week, 49 weeks uh, in a year. You're looking at all the different uh, improvements in the truck loads and that's how we were able to come with that measurement of uh, 9,500 more trucks, up to 9,500 more trucks a year.